Hi everyone, my name is Judy Chang. I'm a U.S. immigration attorney. I'm happy to participate in today's Q&A session for lovely abusers. This is a question related to public charge. Public charge does not affect naturalization eligibility. So the answer is no. The answer is yes. There is no wait period for a new permanent resident to wait to petition for other family members. Well, it depends. If the rescheduling was initiated by the USCIS for bad weather or the agency issues, then you should expect the rescheduling in about a month or two. If the rescheduling was requested by you for personal reasons, then it may take several months. So you need to be patient, but at the same time, you may want to diligently follow up by writing and calling USCIS. This is exactly why it is important to check your green card thoroughly when you receive it. If you find any information is incorrect, then you should file Form I-90 to correct and get your new green card issued. My experience is you don't have to fear. My experience has been that my clients who have submitted AC-21 transfer request have not experienced any delay and, and so far uh, uh, they haven't experienced any denial either. As long as you meet the requirements, uh, USCIS, ha USCIS has been uh, fairly generous in accommodating the request. Immigration does not mandate that you file AC-21 transfer or 485 supplement J when you move to another uh, employment. However, it does recommend that you do it. And uh, I also recommend that when you make a change of employment, you file uh, supplement uh, J and ask for AC-21 request. Uh, that way, you could save yourself from a request for evidence later and your record will be up to date and uh, you wouldn't have to explain it if your green card gets approved without uh, going through this change of employment uh, information process and then you want to apply for naturalization. Okay. Generally speaking, for a foreigner to enter the U.S., his or her passport needs to be valid for at least six months. However, for a green card holder, the U.S. government does not require the passport to be valid for any months. In fact, you will be allowed back into the U.S. with just the passport and identification. But the big question is, will you be allowed to board any airplane? Okay. Uh, because it will be difficult to, for you to board an airplane, uh, you should provide a passport, okay? Uh, and, and so uh, the passport has to be valid, but it just doesn't have to be valid for six months. Okay, so she's eligible for um, uh, applying and, and, and obtaining a green card based on her marriage to a U.S. citizen. In that case, she does not have to possess or produce a valid passport. Okay. USCIS does not require valid, valid passport for adjustment, but it requires a valid passport for change of status or extension of status for non-immigrants. So you should know the difference. Well, send the written request by email or certified mail and if you still do not get any response then you know you should report your lawyer to the state bar again send a written request by email or certified mail requesting your attorney to produce your receipt notice and preferably your file copy as well if you do not get a response you may want to file FOIA 
where is Freedom of Information Act request. Okay, and if you provide your information and, and sufficient uh, information like what what it is regarding, and uh, you should be able to receive um, any uh, file that is under your name within a few months. Okay. If you hire another attorney, the new attorney can request a file transfer from your previous attorney. If nothing works, then you should report your lawyer to the state bar because it's an egregious um, uh, behavior not to produce file copy or receipt notice to one's, uh, uh, one's client. Well, uh, you need to go to USCIS Case Status Message Explorer and input case type and category and it should compare with average processing time and provide you uh, the information that you are looking for. Well, according to the Crony Memo, Using H-1B or L-1 visa stamp does not cancel AP or EAD. So do not worry, you will be able to maintain both. The memo also clarifies using AP to re-enter does not cancel H-1B or L-1 visa status. Therefore, even if I-94, your I-94 shows paroled, and not HMB or L1, you can extend or transfer your HMB or L1 employment. Well, you can request interfiling or file another I-485 under EB2. Okay, with EB2 and EB3 priority dates changing unpredictably, however. Uh, I think it may make more sense to file another I-485 application and take advantage of whichever comes to you faster. Okay. Um, also, USCIS has said interfiling takes a lot of administrative effort and it's not a guaranteed outcome. USCIS most likely will accommodate your request but if there are many, we don't know whether that will actually cause a delay on your I-485 processing. Whereas if you file another I-485 application, once one of them gets approved, you write to withdraw the other pending one and, and close the case. Um, if you submit sufficient documents, generally speaking, the interview is waived. So it's very important to uh, submit as much uh, uh, information as you can. Uh, for example, uh, throughout your marriage, from the beginning until now, uh, all the joint financial documents and documents to prove that you have lived at the same address. Okay. Well, if you're married to a US citizen, as you know, you become eligible to apply for N-400 three years after receiving your green card. But these days, I-751 is pending for more than a year, uh, almost two years, that um, uh, most likely by third year, your I-751 is still pending. Well, don't worry. If you want to, you do not have to wait for the 751 approval, and you can go ahead and file N-400 for naturalization. So what happens is when the N-400 naturalization interview is scheduled, uh, that's when uh, your officer will also adjudicate your pending I-751. So although uh, they are not going to say, uh, you should be ready for the 751 adjudication as well. I recommend that uh, the spouse attends the N-400 interview the same time. Well, uh, it, it's been a pleasure uh, to have this Q&A session with many users and I hope at least some of the information was useful to you. Thank you.